if Greg Popovich had been the guy sitting there saying that, would you guys feel differently about it? I mean, and uh, granted, I don't mean Greg Popovich coaching the team he's coaching now, but I do think that it it echoes some of the sentiments that we've heard from Greg Popovich. I mean, you lose a game, what does he want to do? Let's go drink a bottle of wine, right? Like you you, you move on, right? And I know you, Mo, you in particular work with Pop, so you can tell me, like, I, I like you get what I'm where I'm coming from here, right? Like I get, having I, some I, perspective I, in life. Giannis's story, like we all know where this guy came from, right? Like uh, losing a basketball game is nowhere near a, a bad thing happening to you as a as a human being, especially when you come from where he came from. So it, I don't know, what I mean is putting a positive spin on things is something that I do to myself all the time. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to fault him for looking at it as, you know, look, this is another step in my life and I'm trying to build on it. And I think he was just giving an honest re reaction to the question in the moment. And maybe we should just uh, reevaluate when people sound like psychopaths after they lose a game. And we should say, well, that's a little bit performative. Well, I'm going to push back on a lot of what please, you said. Please do. No, what, no, please I just, do. I, I just, I'm I just, asking I, you about the pop. Thing. I got you. I got you. I, yeah. I, I just want you to understand also, I have the unique experience of being on a team that was upset as the one seed. And I'll just give you the honest, right. I'll give you the, 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 we lost in, in, in six games. I was with the Spurs. We lost to Memphis in six games, the a whole lot of stuff and kind of a lot of similar stuff. Mondo had an injury towards the end of the season. He missed game one, things like that. Grizzly stole game one, basically took control of the series from there on out. Um, bad matchup for us, all that fun stuff. And they came in for our throats and that was really appropriate. And you're to a degree, you're right. Pop's response to it was okay. That means we just get to, you know, everybody has to help me move into my new wine cellar. Not not kidding, <laughs> by the way. Not kidding. That was his response on the plane. But I'm just going to tell you this much. I promise you Pop looks at that as a failed opportunity and a missed opportunity to win a championship. I promise you that at that time. Like, there's no question about it. Sure. It was it was him moving wine that day or him going to, you know, everybody go to dinner and let's, you know, kind of talk and things like that. I've been at those dinners. You're, ha you're, you're, you are basically reliving the experience all over again. You know, the famous dinner that they had in Miami after they lost game six and blue right. game six, you know, was they were all coping. It's coping. It's pops coping mechanism in that sense. I don't one. I don't think the, uh, uh, I, I pop definitely will have looked at that season as that as a missed opportunity and, and a, a failure at that point. We did. He learned a lot of great stuff. And then the next year, they went and balled out, right? And, right. and and all of those things. And yes, there are things you could, the Bucks can learn from this season to carry them into next season. And maybe next year they win the championship and they can look back going like, hey man, our failure last year led to that. I think it's one, I think it's us being afraid to fail. I think that's a bigger yeah. issue, more importantly than that. The word failure is such a negative connotation to people. It's, it's, um, Oh God, I'm going to sound like people Yoda. take it it's personally. Like, it, yeah. But it's like a, 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 a learning opportunity in that sense. Right. With all of those things. And that's kind of what Giannis was saying, but I think mm -hmm. to not acknowledge that this season was a failure is almost missing the lesson. And I think that's, and maybe that's something he's doing privately and doesn't want to do publicly and that stuff. And maybe that's something, you know, with this stuff, Dave, I think if he came out and just, you know, was like, yeah, no, I think this season was a failure or, or answered it a little bit differently. Right. I don't think it's still a psychopathic answer. I don't think it's a, I don't think that would make him a, a a thing like that. I just think it's more just realistic as to looking at, yeah, man, this sucks. Right. We lost. It sucks. And you can I, hear that in his voice, the whole answer. Yeah. Right. The, the whole, well, that's it's, the it, thing yeah. is that it was very obvious to me that he was feeling like he felt the loss. Like, and I thought, um, Giannis is a team player. Like if you come across and you say, yeah, it was a complete failure in a series where they got eliminated, where he missed a couple of games. Cause he was hurt almost three whole games. Well, now you get into a scenario where he's kind of thrown his team under the bus and he's not that guy. So, you know, yeah. I, I just, I, I didn't mind the answer as much as some people. I know you guys didn't hate the answer. Um, I actually thought the question itself was good. You know, like that was a, it, it set him up to at least express his feelings on the season. So I love Eric name. I would have not used the word failure because that's Fair. a trigger word. I would right. have asked just his it's perspective loaded, yeah. on the season in that sense. But that's what well, goes back to your point. What you were just saying, failure is a part of every single process. Like that's how you get better. Like you don't like Steph Curry's missed more shots than he's made. 
And so I mean, th that that word shouldn't be so loaded, maybe. But and I want to flip it to you, Dave. What would have been your response if Trey Young said that yesterday? You're right, I mean, man. Oh it, man, it, this it, is it, my inherent bias, my pro Giannis inherent it, bias. Because well, I, I know mean, it's he's all a, of us. We. We yeah, all have you're it. Right. We all have it. So it's like, you know, it's like you wanted to flip it on the pop. Let's flip it the other way. Flip it's, it it's the other stuff. way. Man. It's that stuff. And, and and there's all of those things. So I think that's uh uh a thing. And again, I because I know people are gonna get upset with this. I just want to say it again. I don't think so. The actual points, like that's actually great. Yeah, like in that sense healthy. for teeps for it's a healthy yeah, thing, and great. it's a healthy response from him. And I love Giannis for 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 that, and I'm happy he's he can have that kind of a healthy view of it. But I don't necessarily think it's it's. I think it's just us being so afraid of the word failure. Like you got to embrace that shit because that's how you learn. 